Hi everyone, it's Bengi. I'm here to take you to a short product tour about Mini Course Generator's recently updated version. We have lots of wonderful improvements, but one thing never changes here. It's of course, simplicity. Mini Course Generator is known among training providers for its ease of use, simplicity, speed, and of course, great practicality with AI Course Creator. Besides, we have very simple and direct interfaces for both course creators and their audience. Today, we'll take a closer look on how it works. This is how the admin dashboard looks like. On my dashboard, I have lots of mini course collections. You see, uh, mini courses are created and grouped under collections, but we'll get back to this. First, let's create a mini course. You can either start from scratch or choose AI course creator for the fastest and easiest way to start. Uh, we have a very few steps before we get our mini course. First, you can choose your mini course language. For the time being, we support uh, five more languages besides English, but of course, in the near future, uh, there can be more. You'll tell our AI assistant your profession. Imagine you're a parenthood coach and you target parents of small school children and you'd like to create a mini course for them about the era uh, where their children come to the right age and start going to school for the first time. What should they do in this process? Now, this is step one. Based on this, you'll get title suggestions from our AI assistant. Uh, you can choose one of them, edit them if you like, uh, get new suggestions from this button here, or simply uh, write down your own title. Uh, after deciding on that, let's generate the course outline. This is the course outline created by our AI assistant. Uh, you see we have headers and subheaders. Each subheader will correspond to a different content card or page of your mini course. Uh, just like the titles, you can edit these, uh, add new headers or uh, subheaders if you like, or generate a completely new outline. By the way, you can also change their order. For example, I'd like to rearrange headers three and four. Simply drag and drop. And now this is new. You'll have a five question quiz at the end of your mini course. And the questions will be about the subject discussed in this mini course. You see, adding interactive cards to your mini course is very important for engagement. And with our AI course creator, you have this from the start. And lastly, if you keep this option on, there will be AI generated images on each page or content card of your mini course, which are coherent with the whole mini course, of course. Now let's generate our mini course. You see this advanced utilization of AI is a very unique property of mini course generator because with the similar tools on the field, all you can get is simply course outlines, uh, mini courses with very short or shallow content, or only quizzes with no educational part at all. But with mini course generator, you can create interactive, organized, focused and detailed mini courses with quizzes at the end and also coherent AI images. No one else does that. Moreover, after your course is ready, you are free to edit it and add your unique touches as the master. Yes, this is the edit screen of your mini course. You see the outline we have just created is here on the left, uh, like a navigation panel. You can scroll down uh, and scroll between pages easier with this and see the whole mini course fastly. And if you'd like to change the order of the cards, you can also do it here. Uh, for example, uh, let's change the order of these two subheaders. These two cards are now replaced with each other. On each page, we have AI images, you see. Uh, they are related to the content on the card and they are also coherent with each other in a way to storify your narrative. But if you'd like to change an image uh, on a page, you can simply delete and generate a new one. Let's do this together and generate a new one with our prompts. You can also generate a prompt from the content in the card. Let's do it this way. This is the prompt generated from the card. And here is the image generated with this prompt. When we look in general, you see AI Assistant provides a very satisfying course base, which you can edit very easily with your unique touches to reflect your expertise. If you have your own media, you can easily upload or embed them to your content cards. Uh, for example, here, let's upload an image. Uh, this is the media gallery. You can also upload videos uh, or get your visuals from uh, other sources here.
Apart from the header image of this card, you can also embed anything from anywhere with an iframe HTML code inside the content card in this content part here. To do this, just open the code view, paste your code, click elsewhere to save and go back to the text view. You see our video is embedded inside the card area. You can also add new cards to your mini course. Uh, to do that, just click the plus icon where you'd like to add and choose a card type from the menu. You see we have uh, many types of cards. Uh, to demonstrate, let's add a quiz card. Now let's fill this in with a true false question, for example. Let's choose a correct option and add a GIF to the header from Giphy. Now, besides all, uh, we have features like adding PDFs and links to your content cards. And I'm not talking about hyperlinking them in the text. You can create really nice CTA buttons for your PDFs and links. If you'd like to finish your mini course in a special way, you can go to the end and click plus to see the completion cards. Uh, there are four types of completion cards here with standard card. Uh, you can avoid the replay animation at the end of your mini course. Uh, with scorecards, you can display quiz score of the participants. With conditionals, you can display personalized messages based on quiz score. And lastly, you can give certificates with our certifier integration. You can customize the appearance of your mini course for branding as well. We have teams for that. We have lots of team presets. Uh, default team is uh, really plain and simple but you're free to edit all details if you like. Lots of settings here. After you're done, you can share your mini course in three ways. You can share it with a link, uh, embed on your web pages, or export the score. I'll choose share with a link. You see, we have a very nice landing page here. Your audience can view this cover page, see the outline, and immediately start experiencing your course by clicking the start course button and they'll progress with very simple interfaces. On the left, they can see their progress. And you'll see there's a check here on the left. And if they leave the course now and come back later, let's see, they can start from where they left off. This is wonderful. Now let's go back to the admin dashboard and talk a bit about collections. This is the gallery view. You can switch to sorting mode if you'd like to rearrange the order of mini courses within a collection or if you'd like to move a mini course to a different collection. You see with drag and drop. But our collections feature is not just for organizing your dashboard. Uh, just as you share your mini courses with links or embeds on web pages, you can also share collections and present your mini courses as a whole. You can edit your collections landing page. You can add a cover image, you can add your own logo, and you can add a cover text like this. Now let's see how our collection looks from end user's perspective. Simply click view and see the landing page of your collection. You see we have mini courses grouped under and they can click and start experiencing this mini course. In conclusion, Mini Course Generator is the fastest and simplest way for creating and sharing mini courses for various use cases. If you have one on your mind, we'd like to hear about it. If you have questions, please leave a comment and meet me in the next video. Bye.